when we think about the Christmas account, one of the accounts that always stands out is that of the wise men from the east who traveled all the way to find this great king. And they would have been men who spent their whole careers looking at the skies and studying them. They would have known them in and out, spent thousands and thousands of um, days and hours looking at the skies. But they saw something different when they looked at the skies. They saw something they hadn't seen before. And that's what motivated them to completely change what they were doing, um, to up sticks and go to somewhere that they'd never been before. Um, with Christmas, it can be something that's very familiar with us. It can feel like we've had a thousand Christmases. And maybe this Christmas, it's time for us, like the wise men, um, to look for the most important thing, um, thing that's very central to Christmas. What the wise men were looking for was this great king they were looking for, Jesus. And they understood the importance of what that meant. And when we look at Christmas, sometimes it's easy to overlook it um, for everything that's going on. Um, but maybe this year, like the wise men, we look deeper into Christmas and the meaning behind it. The meaning that which has the power um, to completely change the direction um, of things for us. And there's plenty of opportunities around Christmas. Um, sometimes it can be hard to see them through um, everything else that's going on. Um, but a good place to start is by looking at that story of Jesus again as a child and not just stopping there but following through and reading of the accounts of his life in the Bible um, one of the books that's really good to start with there is the book of Luke where we can read an account of Jesus' life and find out why it was that he was so important and what he did through the rest of his life and what that can mean for us.